All right, hey guys, thanks for coming back to check out another video. I kind of, I like filming these collection videos, but then like, I don't know, it feels weird that I'm just like behind the camera and not in front of you. That sounds really vain. Um, we're just gonna ignore that. This is my bronzer collection, cream and powder, and I will be doing like showing it to you and doing swatches and all of that. So let's just get right on into it. So we will start with the cream bronzer section. I only have two. This is probably like my most impressive category because it is so under control. And I absolutely love this Milk Makeup uh, bronzing stick. This is just the mini version and it's in the shade Baked. It's very tiny print. I don't think you'll be able to read that. This is currently in my Partners in Cream project pan. And then I do have this Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow like contour bronzing stick. And it is in the shade Oaks on You, I think is what it's called. Again, it's really tiny. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. But my intention is to finish this one up, then start working on this one. I don't know if I'll pull this one into the Partners in Cream project pan necessarily, um, but I will definitely use this one up. And then I will per repurchase like a full size of this one. Um, I just absolutely love it. I love the way that it looks. It blends out so nicely. It's just such a good like formula and color. So let me give you swatches of these two products. Okay, so here is the Milk Makeup one and here's the Wet n Wild one. So to me, when they're compared side by side, I don't know how well you'll be able to tell like in the viewfinder, but the Wet n Wild one, it's lighter, but it almost has like this orangey undertone, whereas like the Milk Makeup one just looks like really nice. I don't know. It doesn't have like that orange undertone. It doesn't look like too red or too deep. Um, and so blended out, this one is really nice. I haven't actually ever used the Wet n Wild one on my face. I just happened to fall in love with the Milk Makeup one. And so that's the one I've been using. But yeah, so I can't really attest to this one too much. But based on the swatch, like I'm not super in love with that color. And hopefully it will like blend out nicely and work well on my face. If not, I will have to declutter it. But there are those two swatched out for you. Okay, so next are my bronzers and I'm not, I don't have any like face palettes with bronzers in them because like in my highlighter video, I kind of took it palette by palette and showed you and then did swatches and that was a little more manageable because I don't think I can fit all of these swatches on like my arm at one time. So I think what we're gonna do is maybe take it by like these little stacks that I have and just go from there. So I'm going to keep this one hidden, but behind this NARS one is an Essence um, bronzer and I actually, silly me, have a brand new one that I can show you. So the reason I don't want to show you that other one is because it is in the Project 50 pan um, thing and it, I've made such good progress on it. So I wanted to show you, I do have two of them, they are exactly the same, same shade, same everything I'm just silly and do that but I'm actually going to move that essence one off to the side and so we will start with these two so I do have this NARS one it is um, in the shade seaside I feel like every time I see someone with a NARS bronzer it's in like the shade casino I think um, I snagged this at a TJ Maxx sometime like maybe a year year and a half ago so I will open it up for you Honestly, this bronzer is kind of like on the chopping block for me. I just feel like when I use it, it's not very impactful. And so then I have to constantly like sit there and swirl my brush in it. And for, so how do I say this? I swirl my brush in it so much that it amazes me that the imprint is still on the bronzer. Like you can clearly see the imprint. I don't even know if on camera this looks used, but I have used it and tried it. It's just not that pigmented. I don't get a lot of product on my brush. I have thought about trying to crunch it up and repress it before officially like decluttering it. So that might be what I do, but there is that one. And then here, like I said, is the Essence um, Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and it is in the shade 01 Natural, which I don't like that shade name. Um, they also only have two uh, varieties in this, I believe, um, but I do really like this. I love it because it smells like coconuts. It smells so beachy and nice, and I just, I like it. So let me swatch these two bronzers out for you. 
All right, so here are these two swatched out. Here's the Essence one in the shade 01 Natural. It is very light. I do find that in the summer months, I do have to build this up quite a bit more, but in the winter time, this works really nicely. The um, bronzer compact that's in the Project Pan is actually the goal is to like use it up completely. And then here's the NARS one. So the swatch of it looks really nice. And I do think it is a very pretty color. I think that it would work so nicely with my skin tone as a bronzer. But to get that swatch, I had to like go in for three different swipes. So let me know if you think repressing it and then doing it that way would be helpful. But if not, I might just have to declutter it. But I don't know. It still exists as of right now. Okay, so I th think we could just finish off with the single bronzers and then I do have two in my pan that face palette so the rest of the single ones that I have I do have the balm bonnie luminizer this is actually a highlighter but if I open it up you guys will see this is far too dark for me to use as a highlighter so I use it as a glowy bronzer I have pan in it because I did um, scoop out that much of it and mix it into a bronzer from the Tarte Hamptons Weekender palette and it made a really beautiful glowy bronzer and I finished that off earlier this year so there is that one then I have this Rimmel London Radiance Brick and it is in the shade 001 light so here's what it looks like it's like it does hopefully you can tell on camera it does have like this um like glowy shift to it um i've used this i got this from my mom i think sometime last summer and i might have busted it out like one or two times but obviously not enough you can still almost perfectly see the design imprint on it so honestly don't have like an opinion on this one i need to roll it back out this summer and you know form an opinion on it then I have this CYO one. I count this in my bronzer collection. It's the Bronzing and Illuminating Compact in the shade The Radiant one. So I think this brand has been discontinued. I don't know. I used to buy them at Walgreens, which in like the US is just like a drugstore. Um, I know I've heard people like in the UK and other places say that they could find it in boots. So if you know if this brand is being discontinued or is still like hanging on by their you know by the skin of their teeth let me know because i actually do really love their products i have quite a few of them this is actually a repurchase i have already used up one of these last year so it actually is like a blush a bronzer and a highlighter so this one is like brand new like obviously i haven't used it i was trying to use up some other bronzers because i know i could finish this off so easily but what i like to do is just swirl my brush around and just use it as a bronzer not like try to keep it all nice and like okay this is my blush and this is my bronzer and this is my highlighter like no brush that i own is going to fit into these little pans so i just roll it all anyway and then once it got pan on it and i had to repress it it actually made this really nice like all over face powder and i've never tried the hourglass like ambient light um setting powders but that was kind of like the I felt like it gave me the same effect that those would, so I do really love this. Then I have from Ulta Beauty, I don't know where I acquired this, there's no like shade name or anything on the back, there's just like a batch code number, um, but it is a matte bronzer by them, and I have used it a few times. You, I mean, it does have like this little tropical imprint on it, but hopefully you can see like it is starting to get worn away. I do like this, um, again, it smells really nice and like coconutty, I just, I love scented makeup. I can't be alone there. I know I can't or else they wouldn't keep doing it. And then I have this Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer and it is in the shade Fair to Light. I absolutely love this. It is one of, I think I only have two like cool tone bronzers. To me, this one is cool tone and I love this thing so much. I have to like hide this from myself because i know i'll just whip it out and use this every single day and then neglect like the rest of my collection so i do allow myself to pull it out like for one solid week every like month or two and just go ham on it but yeah really really love this so now let me show you swatches of all of these that we just talked about Okay, so this first one is the Bare Minerals Invisible Brawn in the shade Fair to Light. And I think you can tell, like, swashed out next to everything else. It's cool toned, and especially, like, 
I feel like with it swatched out to some of these next to like some of these other ones it makes these look even more orangey which I don't if a bronzer like gives me that orangey look I just do not like that and I immediately pass it along to someone else because I can't stand that effect so even though on like camera these might look a bit orangey I think it's just because this one is right here and it's so cool tone but then next to it is the Bonnie Luminizer Highlighter from the Balm that again I just use as a glowy bronzer it is really pretty it's very golden um I know I told you guys like I mixed it with like an actual bronzer and repressed it to make like just a uh, like a glowy bronzer, but I have used it as just like a topper on its own and I really do like that um, Then this next one the one that looks the most orange is the um, Rimmel London that radiance brick and so you can tell like it is like Kind of like multi-toned. So all I did was just like swirl my finger in the middle here So I don't know, but it does look quite orange doesn't it? Um, then next to that is this Ulta Beauty one and that one it looks cool toned as well to me but just lighter like it's definitely lighter than the Bare Minerals one but I still feel like it's a bit cool toned which is nice because I do like those and then the last one is the CYO one. Oh, camera okay um, so yeah there's the CYO one there too and then I just have two other bronzers to show you Okay, so the last two that I have to show you come from my Pan That Face palette, and I don't think it's going to be any spoilers, um, but I do have two bronzers here. They're both from Tarte. They're from the Tarte Clay Play um, Face Palette, the Volume 1, and so this one is in the shade Desert, I believe. No, this one is Terracotta, and this one is Desert, and so Terracotta is very warm tone, and Desert is a cool toned one, so I'm going to swatch these two out for you, and that will round out this video. Okay, so here's the last two swatched out. So again, this is Terracotta and this is Desert. They're both from the Tarte Clay Play Face Palette Volume 1, which has been discontinued, unfortunately. I really loved that palette. I don't know why they did that. These are definitely two of the darkest bronzers that I have. Um, I think you can tell just based on the swatches. So I do have to use like a lighter hand when I use these, but I really do enjoy both of them. Um, on camera to me it looks like terracotta is showing up like a bit orange but in real life it does not look that way and then hopefully I think you'll be able to tell that desert is more of like a cool toned one um, I really typically love cool toned bronzers like in the fall and winter like cooler months I don't know why that is I'm not opposed to like busting this out in the warmer months it's just like something I wanted to throw in there. But yeah, that's it. That is my entire cream and powder bronzer collection. So I think the next collection video that we do might be like ColourPop Super Shock shadows um, or eyeshadow palettes or let's see. That's really, unless you guys want to see things like um, what mascara is and you know, just like miscellaneous items I have, those I think think would be the only three I have left to do but let me know how you feel and um, thanks for checking out the video I hope this was fun to watch and I will catch you guys in the next one bye